afternoon, all the tech lovers from all around the world. Thank you for coming. My name is Justin Gom. I'm the co-founder of XAG, an agri-tech company. I'm also very honored to be one of the Founders Club member of Beyond Expo. So today, um, I'm very glad you can be here to be with us for XAG's 2023 new product release here in Macau. I brought something to our users. This is our P100 Pro agriculture drone. We actually released this drone last year in Chinese market, and we have delivered more than 20,000 units to our customers, and it's being approved the efficiency. Let's take a look. There are a lot of new features. If you are not a farmer, you probably don't have any kind of connection with it, but it is really a big achievement we have made during the last two years. Don't worry, it's a lot of information here. I will take you through all the aspects behind me. First is design. You probably never think of a farmer's tool can win Red Dot Award, a GMARC Design Award, and Fortune Design Award. Yes, because for thousands of years, farmer's tools are being you know, very ugly and not user-friendly. But in the cities, every day, we experience you know, the design, the material science, the user interface, and, and new technology. Every day, we are embracing that. But in the farmland, we're trying to bring the best design to our farmers and the best materials that is available on the market. We did something differently. Because a farmer needs to carry the drone daily. It operates in different fields or villages even. So we have to make sure it's easy to transport. The result is we have separate the, fl the flying platform and the, the, we call it task payload or, or the um, payload system. Because now they can easily swap between the spraying system and the sprayers, uh, spreader system, which you can do seed spreading or fertilizer spreading as well as doing crop chemical spraying. Okay. And the result is it's very easy to transport and it's easy to uh, store, but also very easy to uh, do in the maintenance. For instance, you only need one cable to connect the flying platform with the payload system. Uh, very easy to swap within one minute. Second, it is our first quadcopter in the product line that uses foldable arms. So it's big because the carrying capacity is rated up to 50 kilograms, which means this size of aircraft can carry 50 kilograms. That's a lot weight to um, the payload ratio. And also, it is quite small if you fold arms. It saves up to 62% of the storage volume for transportation. So the farmers can fit our drone into their vans or even on the tricycles. Second is intelligence. Because our customers are farmers, they're probably not well educated, probably not even able to use a smartphone well, but they can use our drones. Imagine that this is a cutting edge technology, it utilizes best material, design, aerodynamic, but operates in the field. So the intelligence part is very important for the control, for the farmers to easily use it. This is our fifth generation, which is Super X. Four Pro flight control system or intelligent control system designed for agricultural drones and the robots. It has an independent processing uh, a processor for fast uh, response and also for safety. And we utilize RTK 
navigation system, which are designed for military before, but now being used in the field. It can guide our drones in the centimeter level precision. So the spray, there's no misspray or overlapping in the field. This is also very important for saving the cost for farmers. And there, are, there is also AI uh, fault prediction function. For example, during the takeoff the, of the drone, if the controller detects a special vibration, a weird kind of noise, it will let the pilot know probably there are some problems. And also it will detect the payload if the, the, you know, the, the, the pilot is uh, putting the right payload underneath, etc. So all the effort to put in to make sure the drone is easy to fly. And by the way, all XAG's drones are fully autonomous, which means you don't need to do any control. Not like the, uh, the aerial photography drone, we need to control the joystick. We don't have joystick, actually, before this drone, actually. OK. Next is safety. Safety is always the priority of every flight. So we have mounted a giant, giant radar in front of the drone, as well as two cameras. The radar can detect um, object 1.5 meters to 80 meters in front of the drone, even a power stick, power line, and cables and branches in the field. So the drone can detect the same obstacle and go around it. And also the maximum flying speed is up to 13.8 meters per second. Maybe you don't understand why it's 13.8 meters per second, because the regulation in agricultural drone is 50 kilometers per hour, and that is 13.8 meters per second. So we can reach the highest speed by law, but still maintaining safe uh, during the flight. This is the power of the radar and camera. Last, and our farmers care more about this, is the capability of our drone. The new generation of rebel spray. Rebel spray utilizes a centrifugal nozzle. Compared with the traditional hydraulic nozzle, it is not easy to get jammed. Because if you're using a traditional nozzle, um, you usually experience with chemical jam, and then you have to return the drone to do the cleaning. Uh, with centrifugal nozzle, you can actually control the speed, spinning speed of the plate to control the droplet size. Maybe you don't have the sense of that. For instance, we had a job in Africa helping the local people to do mosquito control spray. Then you need to really atomize the chemical into very, very fine particle and to make sure the mist is evenly spread in the air so it can uh, control the mosquito. Then the droplet size needs to go down to as small as 50 micro. But if there's a job to control the weeds, the herbs, you have to make sure the droplets is bigger than 400 micro, as, as large as 400 micro. So it can easily maintain the momentum, go through the canopy of the crop, go down to the earth, and then touch the weed to kill the weed. So that's the difference between 50 micron and 500 micron. Our, our nozzle can control easily uh, to adjust the, 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 not only the volume, spray volume, but also the droplet size. This is a cutting edge te technology. And we have about 150 patterns on this nozzle only. So this is the, um, the power of um, our Revo Spray third generation. And also we have increased the size of the pump. So the maximum flow rate can, be go, can go all the way to 22 liters per minute. That is a lot of chemical and water you pull out um, from the air to help control the big uh, um, prob uh, pests problem or uh, weed problems. And the river cast. In this generation, we utilize still centrifugal broadcasting mechanism, but vertically mounted, which means when the seed comes out from our drone, it has the speed, has a momentum. It can actually penetrate a punch into the soil. For example, rice seeding. For thousands of years, our farmers worldwide using transplanting methods, which means you first need to prepare the seed after germination, you have to take, the, take the, um, the rice to the field and to do transplanting. That is really time consuming and labor consuming, very expensive. But now we can use the drone. We work with some of the renowned um, crop science companies to coat the seeds, rice seed, with uh, fertilizers, nutrition, 
um, and pest control materials and um, some powder, like iron powders. We coat the seed, become a bullet, and we put it into our drone. When drone flies through uh, above the, the field, the seeds will be actually punched into the field. And it's quite even. You can even adjust the density in each square meter of field. That can save a lot of labor and energy. And the new Revocast 3, we have designed, redesigned the whole mechanism. And also the container is 80 liters, quite large. And the maximum operating speed, um, operating, um, uh, speed can reach up to 150 kilos, kilograms per minute. And also you can adjust the spreading width by adjusting the speed of the centrifugal uh, spreader. And the drone, as I said, can be operated by a smartphone. If someone can use WeChat or WhatsApp, can use our drone. It's very easy. That's why our users, our oldest users are 89 years old in China. Um, she is still using our drones to do the job for the villagers. And also, all the flight paths can be pre-planned. So actually, our engineers can help the farmers to plan, plan the flying routes and the spraying um, parameters before the job. So they just need to take the drone to the field. Sometimes you can even rent a drone from a chemical dealer, local chemical dealer, and pre-field with chemical, and then take, borrow it to your farmland and press one button on the phone, it will do the job and finish, and then you can return the drone to the dealer. So that's how easy it can be used for. But this year, things many of the farmers also want to do, to do some, to have some freedom of using the joystick. So we also will provide this joystick controller we call it Agricultural Remote Controller, or ARC 3 Pro. And this comes with the uh, set of our drone. It is also beginner friendly. Uh, not like, uh, not, uh, not like a, a aerial photography drone, you have to learn to fly. It actually integrated the AI uh, with the flight controller, with the remote controller, for you, um, easy to use it. Okay. And the battery. We've been using the smart supercharged battery for many years. And all of our users know our battery can be charged in the water. Why? Because farmers are the most cost-sensitive group of people. They count every penny in every operation. Because the battery is the largest cost for the whole set. In China, one battery sells for 5,000 RMB. So if you want to operate in the field for one day using the drone, in the past you have to buy 20 batteries. That's a lot of money to put in. And then a couple of years ago we released the supercharged battery, which means you only need two sets of battery. One is on the aircraft, one is charging on the ground. The aircraft will be run for 10 minutes and it returns to you and then the new battery, the battery is being charged. So just, you can do the swap. But in the summertime, the air temperature can go up to 40 degrees. The battery temperature can go up to 80 degrees and that will be dangerous. That also, also will limit the operating speed. So we designed a watertight battery technology that you can put a battery in the water to charge it. And the water will actually take away the heat so the battery can always maintain cool. Okay, so this is the battery technology. And it's compatible with our previous generations, so our customers can use the old batteries as well. Let's compare with efficiency. The new generation of Revo Spray is about two times faster, more efficient than the previous generation. And the Revo Cast 3 is also two times more efficient compared with our P100, which is the previous generation of agriculture drone by XAG. And as I said, we have, been, we have released this drone in Chinese market for more than half a year, so there are a lot of users already. And the drone is already being delivered to our global dealers. Some of the dealers already receive it. So um, yeah, we, we are very likely to see them um, in operation in the next months or so uh, worldwide. At XAG, we are always trying to help farmers solving local problems, but in a global scale. Because China is very large, 
and we have a lot of different conditions for agriculture. We believe if we can solve the problems here in China, we can solve a lot more problems worldwide. And this is XAG, and this is XAG P100 Pro. Thank you very much.